I'm not about to sit here and argue with you through a text message. She was just trying to, you know, trying to go in. I'm like, hold on. Do you know who you're talking to? So, yeah. I know I probably got a little clutching on y'all, but... So y'all, I'm back with a story time video. So I'm gonna try to make this quick, but I just wanna tell you all about a story that I have from college. It was my freshman year. So here goes. And I'm not just telling you the story to tell you there's a moral to this story. So, all right. So as you all know, I am a college student. My first year of college, I went to a college it was maybe two hours away from where I live. I went there to that college and I happened to have three roommates. So it wasn't like, well, three suite mates because they had a place where um, everybody had their own bedroom and you share like a common living area and a bathroom. So you have two sinks in the bathroom, one toilet, one shower, a living area, and four rooms. I had a pretty good experience overall. I love the fact that I had my own room. I didn't have to share my space with anyone else because I don't like people messing with my stuff. I don't even like to suspect people messing with my stuff. That was a good thing about it. Um, everything else was pretty much okay besides living with other females. So, one of the girls that stayed with me, I actually happened to know, um, she was fine. Um, that, she was fine, yeah. So, the two other girls that stayed with me, um, they weren't too bad, but, you know, we ended up having a big fallout over cleanliness. So, cleanliness is very, very important when you're living with other people. So, you know, stuff would happen, little stuff would, hap would happen, and then it got, as, you know, time, time went on, stuff got worse. So, it was a bad issue, like toilet paper, they were, we were, you know, going back and forth over toilet paper. Some people were just using up the toilet paper, and we were like, what in the world? Y'all, I had, I brought these jumbo rolls of toilet paper. Jumbo, jumbo, jumbo rolls like this wide. Jumbo roll of toilet paper. It's, it's, it's almost the size of my ring light. I'm looking at it right now. Like it's, it probably could fit in there. It was like that big. So I brought those. That was my contribution, you know, the toilet tissue contribution because everybody was supposed to take turns, you know, putting a roll in the bathroom as, you know, the rolls would be used up. Once I put my roll in, I kid you not, the roll was... The roll was gone in about four or five days. Four or five days. And I know it's four of us, but it's no way. A big toilet tissue roll for four girls would be gone that quick. So we didn't, we didn't know what was happening to the toilet paper. I don't know. I guess the toilet was eating it or something. I, I, I don't know. But then people would, you know, they would put their little rolls in and those would go by in like a day. So people would get mad about that and you know, it's just crazy. So it got to the point where I started taking my own tissue in the bathroom. They would put rolls in there, but some, well, two of the other girls, I think they would. Well, it kind of got to the point where they stopped putting rolls in there at all. So which was fine with me. I was like, hey, I'll just use my own toilet tissue, take it in there, take it back out when I'm finished using the restroom. So I did that. That was fine. Then it started getting to the point where the bathroom would get dirty. Every time I went to go use the bathroom, I'm not a toilet sitter. I don't sit on anybody's toilet, especially when I'm sharing with four other females. I don't know what you've been. I don't know what you've been doing. So I'm not gonna sit on the same toilet as you. I barely sit on the toilet at my own house, and I'm the only one who uses my toilet. So I just don't. I just have a phobia of toilets. I hate toilets. I just don't like toilets you know some people I just have this OCD where my toilet has to be clean every time before I use it so I love Clorox cleanup that's my favorite I like to spray it you know wipe it down you know whatever you have to do so I was I was doing that every time I used the bathroom and I, but I still wouldn't even sit on the toilet so I would just squat so some of the girls were very disgusting they got to the point where other stuff was being left 
near the toilets, by the toilet, in the trash can, and it just was so disgusting, you guys. It was disgusting. So we just could not take it. Then it got to the point where, so basically it was kind of me and the girl that I knew against the two other girls in the room. But it was basically kind of like us, me and her against them, kind of. It shouldn't have even gone to that point because we weren't even the nasty ones. So, y'all. I just wanted to just leave it alone. You can't let someone just keep messing up something and expecting you to clean it and leaving it for you to clean when they're not the only person using that bathroom. So, so yeah. So then it got worse, got to the point where then a text message was sent out because, you know, they left this dirty note for me and the other girl like a crazy note. I think one of us was, we washed our hair in like this bigger sink that we had. We did not have a kitchen. So I guess they were trying to say that that was the kitchen sink, but it wasn't the kitchen sink. So I don't know whether they saw that or whatever. And then they got upset because they felt like it was a kitchen sink, but it really wasn't a kitchen sink. We didn't have a kitchen, like I just said. So that was the only thing that I, I believe they got mad at us for. But this other girl left blood on the bathroom floor. I'm going to just put it out there. And it made us so upset. So somebody ended up sending out a text. Y'all, I really don't remember. This was in like 2012, 2013. I don't remember. It was a while ago. So it ended up being a text sent out. Then we had to, we ended up meeting up. I was like, I'm not about to sit here and go through a text back and forth with you. I'm not about to sit here and argue with you through a text mess. I'd rather be with you face to face because it's petty. I'm a grown woman for one. You're not about to talk to me like I'm a child because I felt like she was coming at us sideways. I don't like stuff like that. I don't deal with stuff like that. So I'm like, okay, wait, I'm coming back to the room. So. I was done with my class then. I went back to the room. We all talked in this little common area and it, it, was, it was very heated. It was a very heated discussion. One of the girls was clearly crazy because she was just, ugh, I, don't, I don't know what was wrong with this girl, but she was just trying to, you know, trying to go in. I'm like, hold on. Do you know who you're talking to? Do you know who you're talking to? because she didn't know me I have a totally different side to me if you make me upset I'm the nicest person in the world until you upset me at that point she had already crossed me she was cussing through the text messages so I was heated when I got there I'm like okay so what were you saying through the text can you can you come again I'm like okay so clearly you're a message gangster you want to be a gangster through a message but when it's time to come face to face with the person you're trying to be hood with or gangster with, she didn't want to do it. So that was that. Um, we ended up resolving it because the girl, the crazy girl, she moved out, which was amazing. We were so happy that she moved out. We didn't even end up getting a new roommate, which was great. So it was just three of us there. That one room was empty. That was that. I mean, I hate that it had to get to that point, but the girl was clearly delirious. Something was wrong with her, so we had to get her out of there. We resolved it that day when we sat down in the common living area. We were like, hey, so we're going to do this. We're going to rotate cleaning. We're going to do this. You know, something that we should have done from the very beginning, but people weren't doing their duties, so we had to reiterate we basically had to just add more rules and you know we started communicating better after the girl left and that was that so the moral of the story is when you go to college you have to have an open mind you have to be willing to work with people you're going to a college where everybody is different nobody is really like you I mean you may find one out of a hundred people that you know you may click with that you know share the same interests to you but you have to really go with an open mind. You have to be careful with how you talk to people because she just... Ugh, I'm done. I'm done. Okay, but yeah, I'm over it. It's, it was a long time ago, but I'm just so glad that it's over with. I don't have to share a room with anyone. We don't have to argue about toilet paper. And I don't have to stay in a dorm room with anyone anymore. 
But I just wanted to tell y'all what happened. Um, it was really petty, but beware of situations like that. Go in with a plan. Talk to your uh, roommates before you even move in, just so you can, you know, have a just have a plan. Have a set schedule where you somebody cleans the bathroom every day or somebody takes out the trash every day alternate you know alternate between roommates so everybody doesn't feel like they're just doing all the work have someone you know clean the bathroom area somebody clean the shower somebody clean the tub somebody clean the um toilet just have somebody sweep just have a plan and especially if you're living with someone else if you have like the two and two dorm rooms you have to have like a plan y'all so it's not going to be easy because you know, everybody is different, like I said, and you just got to go in. Ready to communicate well with other people, people that you're just just meeting. You just have to sit there and handle it like adults. So you're on your own. So I just want to do, talk to you all about that. So now you know the moral of the story. Go in with a plan, uh, an open mind, and just get your education because that's the main thing that's really important you're there to get your education make new friends have fun but the main thing your main focus should be getting your education so all right y'all i hope i didn't talk too much i know i probably got a little clutching on y'all but because i'm trying to tell y'all this story and it had me a little heated back then it's kind of bringing back little memories but i'm glad i'm glad that it's over with it was no really big fight no fist fight we didn't get into no fist fight thank god and um that was that thank y'all so much for watching that was story time with couture k so hopefully you all enjoy your college experience if you have any stories just leave them down below uh, that you want to tell me about and thanks for watching I, i'll have some more videos like this if you love my story time videos and chatting with couture k then like this video, comment down below, and let me know what you want to see on my channel. So, do this. Have a good one. Bye, y'all.